Hi, this is Gail with Bernina of Naperville. And you know, there's just so many things on our Bernina 790 plus and our 880 plus machines that we just take for granted. So I thought I would show you a quick little tutorial on how we embellish the back of our project bag that we made in our crystal edition classes. Now this is just a simple bobble. We've done a taper stitch strung together with a straight stitch just to create some fiber embellishment. But this is really fun and I hope you learned something. And if you have a Bernina 790 plus or an 880 plus that you try this technique technique. Also, if you are kind of considering between a 770 plus and a 790 plus, well, this little technique might just push you over the edge <laughs> one way or the other. Let's have a look. <laughs> the best way to explain this is that these taper stitches work like a buttonhole kind of. So let's go and look at where they are. So they're in our decorative stitch category. And just to reiterate, you can do this on the Bernina 790 plus and the 880 plus. They're in the 1401s. And if we just pick 1401, for instance, it's a satin stitch. It's a satin stitch with a little miter at the top, then the body of the stitch, and then a miter at the bottom. So when the stitch is out, it does the top piece. The body is what you're going to either enter in or record in, and then the bottom piece. If we take another stitch that looks a little bit different, it still has the taper at the top, which is represented in blue, the blue of the body of the stitch, and then the blue at the bottom taper. And that's basically how these baubles were made on this bag. Let's just work with standard 1401 for right now. And I'm gonna touch my eye button. Now, I can actually stitch and just stitch, 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 stitch along until I feel like pressing my quick reverse button to set that length of that center, and then it's going to stop, and then it will remember the length of this piece. But I can also just do a mandatory size here. So for instance, you know, maybe I want this to be about 30 millimeters in length. I can go ahead and set that, and now that's going to stitch it. 30 millimeters right here. And there's no need to press the quick reverse button in that regard. If I go back to the eye in my breadcrumbs up here, I also have some other options. If you look here at this button, see how I scrolled through like that? If I look at this button right here, I have a taper. This is the one that we're using right now. But I can also do a miter you know, kind of like you would see a mitered border on a quilt, or the reverse miter, and there you can see what that looks like, or even like a little hexagon one, which is kind of cool. But I also have the ability to do manual, and manual is where you adjust where the point is in reference to like needle position, and then this guy makes it either a blunt point or a sharp point. So you can really play around a lot with different shapes. So what I did in my example is I used stitch, I believe it was either stitch number 1405 or 1425, either one, doesn't matter. And I set my length at 30 millimeters. And I kept my little miters the same at the top and bottom. I didn't adjust that point and I didn't pick anything other than the default setting there. Now, I also wanted to string this design together with another design, but what happens with these is you really can't use combi mode with this stitch. So I went ahead and stitched one of these stitches just like this, and then I switched to my straight stitch and used my stitch recorder, pivoted my design around and stitched on top of that bobble, pressing my quick reverse button when I got to the end of my bobble. Then, Another feature that I just love on my 790 and my 880 plus is the go back feature that can go back to my bobble 
and go back to my straight stitch perfectly programmed at the right length. So stitching out our little bobbles, I just, the whole point of this is that this creates kind of a nice background fill on a fabric that you can use on a bag, you can use it in a quilt or just anything. It's really just surface embellishment. And by using the straight stitch that's the same length as the bobble, you can alternate them so that you create this offset look like you see me stitching here. But there's one thing I do want to warn you about. When you pick your bobble or you go from your straight stitch to your bobble, notice when I select this bobble that there is a delay. There it is, okay? It's very tempting to just quickly press that bobble stitch and start sewing. But if you don't wait for that stitch image to appear on the screen, then it's just going to stitch another straight stitch and kind of screw up the sequencing. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and I hope you give this a try if you have a 790 or an 880 plus. So if you want to see more tutorials like this one, don't forget to check out our Bernie of Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernie of Naperville and there you can like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.